Thomas Staniforth and Co. Thomas Staniforth and Company was a sickle, scythe and toolsmiths based in Hackenthorpe, Sheffield, England. The company was founded by Thomas Staniforth in 1743 and operated out of workshops located on Main Street, Hackenthorpe until it was closed during the 1980s and its assets incorporated into Spirit and Jackson. The company was known for its ever quick brand of gardening tools. History During the 17th and 18th centuries, the brooks around Hackenthorpe and the neighbouring villages of Eckington, Mossboro, Ridgeway, Ford contained the number of grinding wheels used for the sharpening of sickles and sads. In fact, there is even documented evidence showing the Stanifor family itself was involved in sickle smithing in the 17th century in Ford. Prior to moving to the Eckington Parish, this particular line of Staniforth can be found in the neighbouring parish of Norton. William Staniforth was baptised at Street James on 28 October 1560 to Henry Staniforth, Henry C. Staniforth, a farmer at the Huddings. William married Elizabeth Thorpe and had several offspring, including a son William, baptised 16 September 1607. William married Elizabeth Hodgson. Elizabeth died giving birth to a son William, baptised at Eckington on 22 February 1640. William would go on to remarry Dorothy Monk, whilst the son was apprenticed to his grandfather, Richard Hodgson at Jordanthorpe. The family then split with the young William Staniforth moving to Hackenthorpe and his half-siblings staying in the Eckington area to form other lines of sickle-smithing lines. William had a number of children in Hackenthorpe including Samuel. Thomas Staniforth 1720-1776, the son of Samuel Staniforth operated a number of wheels along the Shire Brook. One notable wheel can still be found in the Shire Brook Valley Local Nature Reserve and is known as the Nether Wheel. In 1743, Thomas Staniforth, along with brothers John 1723-1795 and William 1706-1773, decided to set up a purpose-built workshop on Main Street, Hackenthorpe. Building began in 1740, with the workshops coming into full operation in 1743. Although the family was actively selling tools under their unique maker's mock, it wasn't until the 1870s that the name Thomas Staniforth and Company came into use. The company passed down through the generations, first to Thomas and Thomas Staniforth Roman to 1756-1808, then to Thomas Staniforth Roman 3-1785-1847, then Thomas Staniforth Roman 4-1810-1873 before finally going to Thomas and William Staniforth 1840-1900. The company successfully had contracts to sell the tools in various countries including Russia, Ireland and other mainland European countries. The only competition the business faced in the area was the Hutton and Company Works which operated in nearby Ridgeway, Derbyshire. By the time William Staniforth took control, the tool trade was moving to machine-based manufacture rather than handsmithing and for the first time an outside partner was brought in to run the company. John Hibbert, 1846-1923 of a prominent family from Woodhouse, Sheffield was brought in to partner with William. Shortly following this partnership, William died in 1900 after gradually losing control of the company. The Great Roman II listed Greenside House is located next door to the workshops and was also occupied by the Staniforth family for centuries. The company continued to operate well into the 20th century. In 1967 it was taken over by Spare World Tools, which was eventually transferred to Spare and Jackson in 1972. Thomas Staniforth and company finally closed their workshop in the 1980s. Today the building still remains and has been converted into small business units, with the Smithy Pond remaining in the yard.